Hi, I'm Jeff Doucette. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a, an actor in Hollywood. Uh, I work. Uh, I do lots of stuff. And welcome to the Film Pigs. Uh, this is the uh, Film Pig set right here. And uh, I'm here. And I'm going to teach you something later about camera movement. Welcome to the Film Pigs here on Geek Nation. This is episode 56. It's very exciting. Of course, there are a lot of comedy shows out there that are about the movies, but that's why ours is a drama. We do drama. Yeah. And these are our popcorns. Pop hey, popcorns! Oh. Mm. There it is. I'm Todd Anderson. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. That's Steve Skelton. Oh, yes. That's Steve Falk. And this is our very special guest, Jeff Doucette. He is an actor. He's appeared in everything from Ron Howard's Splash to Jennifer Lynch's Hiss. <laughs> We're going to uh, start the show like we always do with this thing we call Rash Judgments. And that's where we tell you whether or not you should go see the movies in the theater that are coming out this week, even though none of us have seen them, because we're very, very busy and we don't have the time. But we're very smart and wonderful, and you need to hear our subjective opinions, even though we haven't really done any research, right? Right, no right. research. Oh, you're absolutely right, Todd. Let's start with Steve Skelton. What's yes. your rashy? Oh, my rash judgment is for a movie called You're Next. Oh. And it's a scary, horror, uh, uh, slashery, thingy thing. Thriller. It looks kind of. Does it have masks? It is. Now here's the thing. It's. It looks. It's a movie that it's a family and they're in their house and they're having some get together. I don't know if it's like their dinner or Thanksgiving or whatever. It doesn't matter. These guys show up Whoa. with crazy animal masks. Wow. And just animal start animal masks. Maybe people. they're furries. They might. Well, they're. They're, <laughs> they're, they're really pissed off they're furries. They're bronies. Yeah, they're they're bronies. crazy angry They're furries. homicidal bronies <laughs> that show up to kill a family and then the and then and everybody in the house has to fight the brownies ah. and it actually looks kind of scary and interesting i kind of want to see it it's i like the trailer yeah but the buzz is the very buzz good, is a very good well buzz. it looks like yet another home invasion film yeah the buzz is that it's quite good yeah it, so. it comes from the indie world like the ty west and then yeah. and, and he's he's his pal I'm all, uh, so there's a little yeah, bit ty of, west is in the movie there's, right? yeah there's a little artistic cred in it yeah it anyway it uh just, killer, just killer bronies go Go see it. Go see your next, according to Steve Skelton. Emphatic. And who's next? Jeff Doucette what? is going to uh, give us a rash judgment uh, on, uh, wh what is it on, called? On the world's end. The end of the world. The world's end. The world's end. It was one of those. The end of the world is very scary, but very funny. I'm not exactly sure what it's about, but it looks interesting. Robots with little eyeballs that are lights coming at you all the time. And uh, these guys are going drinking, and their whole thing is to go drinking everywhere and end up at the world's end, this pub, and they're gonna be drinking all the way. Now, I'm not sure if they got real drunk and imagined the robots or what, but the robots are attacking them everywhere they go, and they don't know how to get out of it. So they jump off of things and run through things, and then they, they, they look at each other real scared and stuff, and <laughs> it's English. They're a bunch of English limey actors speaking with English accents and stuff, and what's really cool is that th they get Kill, they kill robots, and the robots have blue blood and stuff like that. It's, that's what's nice, but the, I don't know. I, if I would go see it, maybe. Maybe I'd go see it, but I'd also bring a big bag of popcorn, and uh, I'd uh, enjoy seeing the end of the world. No, the world's end. The, the world's, world's end. end. Go see it. I think it's going to be really funny, because English have a way of speaking that's just funny naturally. There you have it. Uh, At World's End is he might go see it, but he definitely thinks you should go see it. So that's Rash Judgments. Thank you, guys. I think it was very successful. I, I know what I'll be seeing this weekend. Uh, a double feature of uh, The World's End and, uh, and uh, You're Next. And Bronies. A lot of good movies to go see this weekend. Uh, and because we have Jeff Doucette, who's a master actor mm -hmm. and obviously a master improvisationalizer. What else am I a master at? <laughs> nah, I don't know. Never mind. Shirts. <laughs> you can great shirts. He's a master of shirt I'm a master of shirts. Master of shirts. He's a master of many things. A master of funny voices and faces. Uh, and that means that we should have a master class yep. that Jeff Doucette teaches. So, um, roll it! Roll that master class footage! Hi, I'm Jeff Doucette, indispensable character actor. 
You know, one of the most indispensable parts of filmmaking is the camera. Important element. Without the camera, I'd venture to say that most films wouldn't even exist. <laughs> well, not only to capture the great acting of people like me, but also to give the film personality. And to do that, the camera has to have a personality. And how do we give the camera a personality? Through movement. We make the camera move. Let's see how this works. Let's watch a scene from Lincoln, first with no movement at all. Why so glum? I've been going over and over what happened four score and seven years ago, when our fathers brought forth a nation conceived in liberty, where all men are created equal, and yet we do not act as such. We have enslaved other men for simple economic benefit. But if I try to change this, to do what's right, the body count will be far greater than this nation has ever seen, perhaps more than this nation will ever see. My very soul aches with this torment. Do you want me to make you a sandwich? Sandwich. Hmm. Oh, great acting, but it hardly matters. Let's try the scene again now with a slow camera push in. Why so glum? I've been going over and over what happened four score and seven years ago when our fathers brought forth a nation conceived in liberty, where all men are created equal, and yet we do not act as such. We have enslaved other men for simple economic benefit. But if I try to change this, to do what's right, the body count will be far greater than this nation has ever seen, perhaps more than this nation will ever see. My very soul aches with this torment. Do you want me to make you a sandwich? Sandwich. Hmm. Wow, an Oscar-worthy moment has been created. Spielberg used the slow push-in over 87 times in Lincoln alone. Okay, but there is also the fast, sudden push-in that can be used to great effect. Here, let's see a scene without it. What have you done with Dr. Chilton? Answer me, you diabolical madman! He made me sit in his waiting room for an hour. So I ate his liver. With refried beans and a corona. <laughs> Boring. Again, with a sudden punch in. What have you done with Dr. Chilton? Answer me, you diabolical madman! He made me sit in his waiting room for an hour. So I ate his liver. With refried beans and a corona. Amazing, brilliant, loved it. Finally, scary movies just aren't scary without camera movement. <laughs> What's wrong with Todd? I don't know, he's been doing that ever since Jeff read from that demon book. No, it's probably just a coincidence. <laughs> I told you you should have read from that book. No, no, that. Wait, what is it? <laughs> uh, oh! Scary at all. <laughs> Why is Todd acting like that? He's been acting this way ever since Jeff read from that demon book. Oh, it's probably just a coincidence. I told you not to read from that book! No, I, I, wait, what is it? <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!
<laughs> so scary. That's camera moves. So I guess uh, that means uh, we're going to wrap this up. Uh, Jeff, do you have anything you want to uh, plug uh, that's uh, com coming up? You, you Masters of Sex. Masters of Sex. Yes. Oh, it's yeah. the, it's the what do you call it? It's the Masters and Johnson story that the, wow. it's on, on uh, HBO. Or oh, yeah. one, I can't remember Showtime. which one it is. Showtime. Showtime. Thank you. Tell about a wonderful the one movie called, called? called Somebody Marry Me. We shot a 98-minute film in one continuous take. Wow. I think there was a film in Russia that did kind of slightly yes. less, uh, but they were in inside indoors from the but this is 98 minutes one continuous take and it's a romantic comedy and you know what it's great it's winning best of fest everywhere it goes so well, there you it's go really so good. look for that and uh and watch uh, the or orange orange is the new black orange is the new black Fox working on that uh, oh and i got another one i got another one uh-huh diamond on vinyl another uh indie film uh uh i don't know how to explain it but sonia kinski and uh, uh a bunch of people i don't know what she's the daughter of Natasha. Well, there it is, you guys. That's the Film Pigs episode 56. And until next week, the concession stand is closed due to health code violations. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Bye bye. Goodbye now. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. More popcorn. Right.